everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my so name is Seppi. Do you like what I'm wearing? The sign of the sign. I have to show these look. Okay, so I'm, I'm not going to show myself, you guys, because I just look like a complete mess. <laughs> I'm wearing this hoodie, it says Saint Laurent on it, these Bowen T leggings, white fluffy socks, and pink and oh black. Oh my god, you look so. So do I look cute? cute? I love these socks. Aren't they mine? Uh, I don't actually know if they, they are. They are. They're mine. I bought them from H and M, a kids <laughs> section. <laughs> Guys, I'm literally running so late, I have a laser session to go to, but I'm starting my vlog now because I haven't done a vlog for you guys in a couple weeks, so it's time we catch up. Let's go to the car. So guys, I've just arrived for my third laser appointment, I believe now. Um, it's actually going really well because I have noticed that I have to shave much less frequently now, um, especially on my legs, my arms, and my hair growth has reduced. I think the spots that are going to take longer are obviously underarms and bikini because the hairs are more coarse there. But we're going to get there guys and I'm really happy with my results so far. So I do my laser with Bliss Laser Clinic. If you watch two vlogs prior to this then you guys will see a Q&A that we did together in the vlog if you guys have any questions. Guys I just love how beautiful this clinic is. Look at it. It's so nice. It's like so therapeutic every time you come here because it's so pretty. So, yeah, so guys, I actually, this is a joke story, I actually had to reschedule this laser appointment Paul Hannah had to put up with me because I fake tanned and I had no idea that you can't fake tan before an appointment. And what's funny was the only reason I bought the fake tan was because I went into supercharged my razors so I could shave before the laser session and I saw the big tan I was like oh smooth skin might as well like just put some big tan on at the same time and then Saul before I left for my appointment goes to me said here don't think you can like get laser with big tan so I called up Hannah and I was like Hannah can I can I not she's like you can't how sad I felt so bad I'm sorry she still loves me <laughs> that's me saying it <laughs> Okay guys, I'm probably gonna relax for the next relax, okay. half an hour. <laughs> so I just finished the laser session. It was so painless, pain-free. It was basically really smooth and I can't wait to come back for my next session and just like have my skin feeling baby smooth because I can already tell that my skin's starting to feel smoother. So I'm just, I don't know, I just love the whole smooth skin feeling. If any of you girls have had laser before, let me know. A lot of people tell me horror stories of it hurting, but this laser is 100% pain-free. Like, I don't feel anything. So, um, I can't imagine it being painful. Like, that's why I like laser, because I hate the pain of waxing. Anyway, I'm gonna drive back home now and then probably hit the gym. So guys, I went petrol station on my way home and I had to stop. I had to put petrol, but I had to get this as well because anyone who follows Melissa's wardrobe on Instagram knows anything she recommends is banging and she said that this is the one so I'm gonna make this and add prawns to it if you guys don't follow her follow her she is hilarious her stories kill me I'm a huge fan like if I meet her I'll be fine girling um, so yeah I'm gonna try this and I will let you guys know if it tastes good good morning I don't know if you can see me. Good morning it is now two days since you guys last saw me and I went for later and then when I came back I got that mac and cheese by the way I make better mac and cheese than that I thought it was nice for like ready-made but the only wow factor about it was that it had bread crumbs on top otherwise it wasn't really anything where I was like oh my god I need to get this again so yeah it was all right um but then I went to the gym and yesterday I went out with my friends and today I'm bringing you guys with me to work um, I have a bit of a weird day in that I'm at work for half the day and then at the second half of the day I'm going for simulation training. So what that is, is you, like what it says on the tin, like you put on those like really cool huge like simulation glasses and like they like have like scenarios and like you pick a scenario and you like train through it and stuff and it gives you a score at the end. So my goal is to try and beat my score that I got two weeks ago. So two weeks ago, I think my high score was like 85% or something. But there are people who get like 100%, which I think is amazing. 
but obviously because it's a computer like it will mark you down on silly things that you would remember in real life um but yeah that's that really so i'm just gonna put on my makeup and get ready and then we will go to work together also this lip balm is from sephora and it's like a lip scrub i don't know if you can see it because the lighting is so bad this is why i don't film in the morning when i get ready but it's like a lip scrub it is the dragon fruit lip scrub and i am obsessed with this let me see if i move this if that improves the light better yeah also my hair is so greasy because i gelled it last night to style it so i was watching a sophia and chintzia vlog and um sophia had a middle parting and like she gelled it down really tightly and then a plait so i'm gonna try do that i don't know if it'll look good on me though because my hair is actually really thick so like if i split it down to the middle parting it won't like stick flat on my head as well as hers does but we move we will try um i will come back to you when i look a lot more presentable so guys i have done my makeup and my sleek pony it looks really like sleek from the front i don't know if you guys can see but i don't know what it looks like from the back i'm gonna like turn you guys i'm gonna like turn oh I'm gonna turn you guys over, turn around. Why can't I talk? It's too early. I'm gonna turn around, see if you guys can see. Can you see? Um, yeah, basically. <clears throat> I sound so croaky in the mornings, oh my God. Basically, I think it looks all right, but I can't see what it looks like from the back. And I've just plaited the end of it. So I think it's cute, I'm gonna put my outfit on. By the way, last night I fake tanned again. La I used um, the, what is this? I used this um, Saint Tropez Gradual Tan Watermelon Infusion and I used this before I went to get my laser which is why I had to wait again because you're not supposed to fake tan before laser and I rubbed it on like normal moisturiser because I thought it's like a gradual tanning lotion and it was awful, it was so orange and patchy and so bad but yesterday because it had been a whole day since I'd lasered I knew I could fake tan again so I put it on with a tan mitt and it's come up actually a really nice colour like I'm quite happy with that I mean it doesn't look perfect on your hands because you're always washing your hands but I think that looks like quite a nice colour and it's like a gradual like moisturiser so like two or three times a week you can always like reuse it and rebuild it and whenever you feel like it's too much like get a tan eraser and erase it I already had a tan eraser because I bought it so I could go and laser um, and I'm not sure if it really worked or not because I already have a natural tan on these but I think it did something I don't know anyway I'm gonna get dressed and see you guys when I'm ready so I thought I would quickly show you guys my work outfit. It is just a plain, it's very long up to like halfway down my legs, um, black bodycon dress and it is high neck and long sleeve. It also looks more see-through in this camera lighting than it does in real life because in real life you can't see anything. And then I have this work coat this is from missy empire by the way i literally typed in on google one day black long sleeve turtleneck dress and bought the first one <laughs> and then this is the coat and it's from zara and it's again really long and like formal style it has tissues in it which no thank you covid even though this tissue is probably old which is even worse um but yeah i actually love this fit i think it's just very basic simple easy if any of you guys are lost for work outfit ideas or uni outfit ideas i just put some plain gold earrings with it some of you guys asked in my uh, previous video what about the bare below the elbows policy i currently work in community psychiatry but if i was in a hospital setting yes it would be bare below the elbows anyway i'm going to make myself a wafi and we are gonna go I always point that way because that's where the door is, but you guys don't know that. But then again, there's a window, so I guess you figured it out. Okay, let's go. Mm. That's what happens when you try and drink coffee for the vlog to look pretty. Ugh, that was hot. So I am in my room now. It is just me in. The consultation room because we do all of our consultations on the laptop not all of them but most of them and especially on Thursdays where my consultant 
um, and I do a lot of stuff um, remotely so that is what I am going to be doing I feel like there was something I wanted to tell you guys and it's just completely slipped from my brain oh yeah next week I'm on annual leave and I'm going to put this vlog up before next week so if you guys have any suggestions at all of fun stuff to do in London let me know but I'm really hoping to like film a lot of content for you guys get a lot more content for my Instagram and I have some research stuff that I'm doing I'm doing an audit so I'm going to be focusing on that as well which is fun I wanted to go away I wanted to go to Dubai but pandemic <laughs> uh yeah so that will be on hold but basically i am going to look up my notes now for the morning we start at about 20 minutes so we start off with like a group meeting for the day and then we um see our patients um so i usually like try and look through the notes beforehand and prep all the notes and know a background of our patients um before we see each one and um i write all the letters for the patients that we see um me and my consultant and i do all of our risk assessments and i do something called homeless clustering which it, i don't even know if i'm pronouncing that correctly but it's basically part of um like clustering for mental health and risk assessments so risk of harm to self risk of harm to others risk of harm to children risk of self-neglect so a lot of risks i do the risk assessments for um each of the patients um so you do do a lot in psychiatry any of you guys who are um final year medical students and considering a job in psychiatry obviously minds community you could get a hospital-based job but it would be very similar and I think I've really learned the importance of writing really good letters. So anyone who's interested in GP, like becoming a GP as well, I think this is a really good F1 job because you do write so many letters and you understand how important it is for your letters to be thorough. Because when I find a really good letter, I really don't have to go back and like read a few. Like the one good letter will give me a really good history of the patient. And when I speak, <clears throat> and when I speak to the patient, they are more aware that I know their case, which makes them more comfortable to talk um so yeah that's my pro tips uh anyway i am going to do my work now and by the way obviously because this is a room alone me alone i could take off my mask so i have packed up my stuff my laptop um and i am gonna head off i'm gonna quickly buy some lunch from in town and actually i think they might have lunch they probably do but i just i don't know if i fancy that lunch i might just buy myself a pret from uh, in town and get myself some food basically before my sims teaching which is at 12 30 i'm gonna ask them if they'll let me record some of the sims teaching just to show you guys what it looks like but if not don't be mad at me guys like i'm telling you now that i tried because i want to show you guys the full doctor experience but yes let's put our masks on and leave the premise i can't do this with one hand one more cool thing before I go. This is the panic button. So in psychiatry, we always have the alarm, panic button, whatever you guys think is more appropriate to call it. Um, and you basically press it in emergency cases and the whole building gets informed and they come into the room that you're in and it's room specific. So I'm in room 11 and this says room 11 on it. So you always leave it on the table. You don't take it with you. It's not doctor specific because if I press it, no one's gonna know where I am. Um, yeah. So I'm back in my car. Guys, it says 14 degrees on my car, 14 degrees Celsius. But it is freezing. I don't know why it's so cold. Oh my God. And also, just probably should clarify, when I said I'm going to the town center to get food, the town center is like one minute from where I work, which is amazing. So um, yeah, I just walk down there and buy food. Um, and I got some pret. Do you guys have pret in your country? Literally, I love pret. Even all throughout uni, all I would eat was pret if you guys used to watch my vlogs at uni. Um, today, I've got the Swedish meatball wrap. Usually, I get the Italian prosciutto. I get the ham and cheese baguette. What else do I get? Mm, the tuna baguette. I like the tuna toasty. I like the chicken chef's Italian chicken salad. I like the chicken chipotle baguette. Basically, I like the whole menu. I like the mac and cheese for days where I don't want to be healthy. Also got myself a Diet Coke. Um, but I'm going to eat this when I get to the other car park because 
I've already paid for this one so I have to get to the other car park um, like leave this one and get to the other one of where I'm going to now which is the hospital um, so I will catch up with you guys there oh yeah by the way how evil I was crossing the road and um, someone was like waiting for someone or something and pulled up right next to me and beeped loud and it literally made me jump so much I was like ah I thought he was like mad at me <laughs> like I was like I'm just crossing a road like I was here before you were um and it wasn't even a road it was like a drive like a drive way anyway just like you know when something shakes you up literally I was just shook up for like a good few minutes but I'm okay now we move on to the next location okay so I have about is it 10 minutes to eat lunch and i have to scooch down for you guys to see me yeah a lot of eating lunch as a doctor is either when you're really hungry so sometimes a lot of times you don't get to eat lunch at the exact time that is like a suitable lunch hour um and that's even in a chill job like psychiatry let alone like really intense jobs I'm not saying that psychiatry isn't intense but it's not as intense as like the hours and on calls that people do in hospital um but yeah so you have to eat lunch at unsociable hours often or eat at unsociable hours and you often have to eat alone which can be quite sucky i mean that's just my experience so far because there is no other f1 on my job so um yeah you end up eating alone because there's no one else to eat with or even if you're like on the wards, like you're probably more likely to have someone to eat with, but oh well. I tend to just scroll on my phone and also I don't always eat in my car. It's just because I've got training today. Otherwise I eat in the, ca the cafeteria, the kitchen. I like the sandwich. I haven't had the meatball in such a long time. I always get the chicken wrap, the hot one, it's so good. Mm. they're doing like reconstruction and resurfacing in the whole car park of the hospital like just the staff bit and there's nowhere to park like i'm literally parked up next to a gate and a bit that i'm pretty sure it's fenced off to not park in but there is no parking space so what do you want me to do fly carry my car on my back it's not possible so yeah so remember what i told you guys about parking my car next to a fence turns out that fence was filled with stinging nettles so when i opened the door i like put, put my foot out and i saw these stinging nettles so i was like shooing them away with my bag and one of them got my leg and it really hurt and it just brought back so many childhood memories of getting hurt with stinging nettles so yeah i'm in agony now um also the car park is a mess to walk through, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, I always get lost. BRB. So guys, I'm back from work. I have just changed into the trampiest, cosiest outfit. I know I look a state, but oh well. Um, I'm going to Tesco, there's some things I need to get. So you guys are coming with me because this is a day in my life. Also, I got Wagamama's takeout and I forgot to show you guys. But I basically couldn't find ginger chicken udon on the delivery menu and my heart like stopped for a second because I was like, there is no way that they've removed that from the Wagamama menu. But it basically been a hot minute since I had Wagamama's. So I was like, let me order some Wagamama's and I got that and I got a bang bang cauliflower and it was really good. It didn't disappoint. How shiny is my forehead look? It didn't disappoint. And yeah, now we're going to Tesco's and today is my second day in this week where I haven't gone out like out out um and i'm proud of myself and actually it was the assumptions about me video that made me realize i go out too much so second day of the week guys proud i actually look much better in this light the other light was making me look red i did not come to play i have got my camera on a stand here in tesco's no shame but we're in the cake aisle because i'm gonna bake my friend a cake um it's one of my really close friends birthday so I'm picking cake stuff from this aisle and I'm dead at how awful I look. Just ignore it. 
Um, but yeah, his favorite cake is white chocolate. So I'm gonna pick white chocolate stuff and make that. So I've secured the cake mix stuff. Now I wanna get some white chocolate to put in the cake. Guys, I actually cannot get over how hideous I look. I don't even care about vlogging in public. I care about how hideous I look in public. Like, the no makeup, the outfit. I'm just not feeling it. I am back from Tesco's. I have everything that I need. And I'm gonna get started. And then I'm going to the gym with Christina in about an hour and 20 minutes, which I am not that excited about. I am excited, but the only reason why I'm not too excited is A, because I ate too much Wagamama's. Mamas. Like, I honestly felt full about two mouthfuls in, but where I'd eaten so little of it, I forced myself to eat more because I was like, surely this isn't enough. And then when you force yourself to eat more, you end up eating the whole thing, and now I feel sickly. So that's the first thing. And second thing is, it's a girly thing, but when you start your period, it's really uncomfortable to go to the gym. So that's the second reason why I'm not too, too thrilled to go. But I like how I feel after, so go me. I've decided to do a little haul of what I bought. So I got the chocolatey mix. See that? I got these chocolatey mix sprinkles from Dr. Oat's car, and it's got loads of different colours, which is fun. I got these to put inside the cake mix, and then I got this. Betty Crocker mix. Betty Crocker mix are my faves. If you guys watch my quarantine vlogs, then you saw all the cakes I made work with this mix. Um, then I got some Dr. Oatska buttercream because I usually make my own buttercream, but um, I'm never ever patient enough to wait for it to set. So I was just like, let me just buy some. Really cool. um, then I got some chocolate writing stuff. A card. And oh yeah, this is icing for the top easy swirl. Again, Dr. Oat cup. Candela's Dr. Oat cup. Dr. Oat I just took all the money. I bet he's not even a proper doctor, or she's not even a proper doctor. Some eggs. That's it. And now you go and watch me do my thing. Okay, I'm gonna play some music as well. I have a boom. Gym. Me and my friends all go to the same gym. Um, <laughs> me and Mickey <laughs> go actually, we're already like members here. Christina recently joined, so yeah, we are going to work out. I think it's really motivating, guys, if your friends go to the same gym to work out in the same gym together. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Should we go straight to the studio, or do you guys want to warm up on a treadmill? Also, we I've got everyone, the whole squad, hooked on no co. Oh, wait, no co. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's the strawberry flavour. Uh, it's my favourite. So, okay. Turn off. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, no. Look, turn around in this light. Look, this light shows. Show. Show. Turn around. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's start. Okay, we're actually feeling sick. sick. Yeah, we're, what are we guys? We're sick. We feel sick. I basically gave us one hour hits 
and we're about to walk on incline, I'd say like 12, um, for about 10 minutes at a slow walking space. We've just stretched out as well, but just to properly cool down before we go home. But that's a good hour and 20, hour and a half workout. We feel really good. Oh, what did you make, mom? <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys don't watch me together my mom my mom is now a viral superstar <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Nisa Gerdemar's uh, Mazi Samaya is coming live with her fresh mom. <laughs> Why did you move the camera away from my face so far? Because I want the real celebrity in my vlog. Mum, how many views Hello, is your channel everybody. getting now? Tell everyone how happy you are. Yes, I'm very You know happy. why she was so happy? Because she Mom, had someone comment on her picture. <laughs> <laughs> she had someone comment on her, sorry, she had someone comment on her video saying that they watch from Nigeria and it made her whole day. Writing down for me, you are looking from there. Oh, you don't know how I excited. Bachay ke video e Farsi mi khan music er de mara hatman tamasha koni khayli va hale. Merci. And I was Rahel Jun budan. Badam. Didi meshun va fuq olade pay nafar budan besiar khane mai va shakhsiyati khayli omadan ebraz mahabat kardan. Me bol sametun. And I just had a protein shake. You fit. Ooh ooh ooh. This is the chocolate flavor. I like it. Can I have a salad? And this is my dad's. Oh no! <laughs> I need this all the time. What? How about me? <laughs> Guys, this is my finished result, and I am so proud. It actually looks so good. My dad helped me with the icing, and he's so chuffed with himself. But um, yeah, let me see what Sina thinks. Sina, wait. What do you What do you think? Oh, this looks so. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know. You're so, so mean. So nice. so you like it? My favorite ever cheesecake is Seppi's cheesecake. I don't want to eat it. I'm in my 90s, by the way. Mummy, you look so yummy, though. The way we looked at each other like we were in love for a second. <laughs> yummy, yummy in my tummy. Ma so today we were out and someone came and said hello to us. We were so happy. Just, um, they are from Afghanistan. There yeah. was five people. So many of my followers so are Afghani. Sick. I love Such them. Such a lovely. We love. I love Afghani people. They were from They're Kingston. So sweet and so lovely. They were so kind. Literally made a whole entire night. Aww. So guys, I am actually exhausted now. I am going to shower and go to bed. I feel like I've had a very productive day and I've had a really fun day. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this vlog. If you want to see more days in my life, then let me know in the comments. I don't do them all the time so that it doesn't get boring, but if you guys want to see them all the time, I'll do them all the time. So let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what more you want to see on my channel and I'll happily film it for you. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. It is Persian Bunny. I often put stories on there, like of my day to day, what I get up to and fashion posts. And my Snapchat is Sappy Samai. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.